Hey everybody, uh, back with another review. And before I started, I just wanted to mention um, this movie is brand new. I think it only had one or two screenings at all before last night at Fantastic Fest. Now that brings me to Fantastic Fest out of Austin, Texas. This is probably my dream, my dream festival, film festival is going to Fantastic Fest. And in years past, I've never been able to do it. Uh, financial reasons, travel, getting time off, all those kind of things. I just could not justify or work out going to a fantastic fest. Well, this year, because of COVID and everything, a lot of the festivals are offering streaming online versions of their festivals. And this year, Fantastic Fest is doing the very same. Not as many movies, but there are quite a few available for everybody online. Now, as of today, it's Sunday the 27th. You still have... A few days left to take advantage of this if you like fantasy, horror, sci-fi, or just crazy movies at all. Go check it out. Some are free if you watch them streaming when they occur, but you have to kind of watch their little menus. Some of them you can purchase for a small rental fee. Uh, I say it's highly worth it for you. So that being said, I have not been able to check out too many movies, but one movie I did check out yesterday is The Old Man, the movie. Uh, I think that's just translation because this is an Estonian movie uh, and it is stop motion. Now, before you run away, if that doesn't sound like your kind of thing, guarantee this movie is going to be a huge cult hit and something that's going to live on for a long, long time. It's a ton of fun, and I want you to stick around and listen to what The Old Man, the movie, is all about. So first of all, Estonian movie. This is the second Estonian movie I've seen this year, and it makes me think that Estonia has got something going on in their film industry in the last few years. You might be seeing a lot more really interesting and unique stuff out of Estonia. The last movie I watched was November, which I believe is still streaming on Shudder. That's also a very unusual movie, a little darker, a little more of kind of a fairy tale. I look back in my reviews and you can see my review of November. But The Old Man, the movie, stop motion. Now, before we go in, kind of how do you feel about the, the style of this movie? What is the style of this movie to get people involved? You know, you mix in a little bit of South Park, mix in a little bit of, mm, let's see, Evil Dead 2, um, but not really so much as horror. Maybe a little bit of Peter Jackson, Dead Alive, slash Meet the Feebles, slash Bad Taste era Peter Jackson. And you've got a little bit of the feel of the old man, the movie. Um, this was directed, I want to count out the directors here because this is an amazing movie. Amazing first feature, I believe. I think I've done shorts, but I don't think I've done a feature. Uh, it's Oscar Lema, Lema and Meek Mag Magi. I am so sorry if I said your names wrong, guys. I'm <laughs> not the best at Estonian. Um, and they have, you know, basically helped create this um, masterpiece of insanity. So the basic concept is this. You have three kids getting dropped off in the country at their grandfather's farm. First thing. Now, one thing you'll notice right out of the gate the stop motion is beautiful, the you know backgrounds are beautiful, and we've come a little accustomed to that with some of the stuff out of, um, uh, was it Leica Studios, you know, with uh, Paranorman and, and Coraline, but those movies are impeccable, you know, models all the way through. Well, here, the backgrounds and a lot of the character and a lot of the figures are really beautiful. The actual characters' faces are super rudimentary. Um, they almost don't move. They're almost like a, <laughs> like a roughly hewn out of like the old, you know, you used to see those old, uh, you know, uh, shriveled apple faces, <laughs> almost like those. So, but it adds to kind of the character of these, uh, these crazy uh, scenes that you're going to see. So that being said, you got these three grandkids getting dropped off at the farm, the grandfather's farm. They're all, you know, various ages. Um, and I should have their names in front of me, but they're all really fun and interesting. The littlest one like, looks like he's maybe like five or six, and he's always making little like models and robots and things. You see it right at the very beginning. He's trying to make a little uh, figure. And uh, 
in fact, there's a little nod, and I think I got it because of watching November. In November, there's these weird things, like these folklore things called crats, I think, if I remember correctly, where you take all these, like, barn and yard tools and things and put them together, and you enchant them, and they come to life to be your servant. And at one point, the little boy in this does something like that. And I think he makes a crat, basically, to help shovel the um, the pig poop in the, the barn. Anyway, the grandpa is like the farmer that does all the milking in this area and all the people from around come to catch the milk and he does a big you know he makes a big thing out of it and he milks the cow really fast and milk shoots everywhere and <laughs> that's some warning about this movie is it's very it can be scatological it can have sexual humor it's not afraid to go lowbrow and it's fun because of that i would even say i wanted to coin uh, my dad joke version is it's lactological I'll let you sit with that for a minute. I think the filmmakers would appreciate that because they have a point here where they talk about the lacto apocalypse, which is if you don't milk a cow in 24 hours, it will explode and cause a lacto apocalypse. I can't even say it. Uh, basically, a huge explosion that will destroy everything around. Um, and that's kind of the the kickoff of the the road movie that ensues. Because you see, the kids think that the grandpa is just too cruel and overmilks this poor cow, and they decide to let the cow free. And the cow, you'll love the cow at the end of this so much. She is just the hero of the movie. <laughs> Between, the cow is, is wonderful. Now, the cow goes off into the countryside. And then the chase is on. You know, the grandpa wants his cow back to keep continue his milking. The kids want to make sure the cow has a better life. The youngest kid, the little one that makes all the robots and stuff, stays behind and gets forgotten about and gets up to some crazy antics back at the farm while everyone else is out on a road trip. And there is a nemesis in this movie that cannot be ignored. And that is Old Milker. And Old Milker... <laughs> is this crazy old character who had who had experienced the original lacto apocalypse so now he has a vengeance if there is an unmilked cow he's out to get it so if all any of that sounds interesting to you you ha i haven't told you near the craziest stuff they encounter various different obstacles and creatures and things on the way on their journey and all of those moments are super fun. Some of them are a little gross, like I said. Um, there's some lowbrow humor, but I greatly appreciated it. There is an encounter with a doppelganger to Axel Rose, <laughs> which is sublime. Uh, there's an experience that is somewhat similar to Jonah and the whale, but there are no whales in the countryside of Estonia. So you'll have to figure out how that will occur. Once again, I want to go back to Old Milker. He's great creepy, an awesome antagonist. A great movie like this has to have a great antagonist, and he will not be forgotten. And finally, I want to call out a couple things about this movie before I go. As you can tell, I love this movie. This will probably be my top 20 for the year. Pretty hard to knock it off. Um, one thing I really love about this movie is it has some really strange, quiet moments amid all the insanity. So there's a moment where you know, Old Milker has gathered kind of a, a crew to help him get the cow. And these guys are not out to get a cow. They're constantly saying things like, uh, yep, we got to have a job. A job's a job. Got to go to work. Got to work. And so that's kind of the reasoning that they're with him. But there's a moment where they're all driving along. And one of these guys that he has you know, brought along to try to get the cow has this um, quiet moment of introspection and the camera just goes with it and he starts talking about his life and his meaning of life and his sadness and and it is the kind of moment this movie didn't have to have and when it has those kind of moments it's just so beautiful and each character including the cow are really interesting and well drawn out the kids are all unique and really cool the middle kid I wish I had the names in front of me and I forgot to write them all down the middle kid is almost the star of this movie but and the, it's called the old man so the grandpa of course is the main character too and he's really good um there's actual character arcs this is so much better and so much more fun than so many big 
budget movies that have no character. You know, I just reviewed The Devil All the Time, which had a ton of great actors, a ton of money behind it, all this production value, and I knew so much less about the characters than these little claymation characters in this super fun, bonkers movie called The Old Man the Movie. So keep your eyes peeled. It's probably going to come to a streaming service or at least be available stream to rent soon. I will try to call it out when that happens because if you are a lover of insane bonkers cult cinema the old man the movie should definitely definitely be on your radar all right be back soon with something new hope you enjoyed that